Right, so we're going to create grasses and make it look as though the elephant's coming through through the grass. And we can lift bits out and we can put bits in. You need this again, a, a little cheap water spray, just to get a softness to this grass. So first of all, we'll paint some grasses in. So clean one. And we'll make it more sort of a yellow orca feel to it, rather than it being uh, green, green grass. So we'll put some yellow ochre in. You can add a little bit of the cadmium yellow if you want a little bit of brightness. You can add a little bit of cadmium yellow and you can add some little bits of burnt sienna here and there just to get a, a browner. So you can get some burnt sienna. Plenty of water on them. So a bit of burnt sienna. Some yellow ochre and some yellow. And you can flick darker colours in here and there. So we start the bottom and paint up into it. So you want a, a fair-sized brush for this, that you're not you're not messing around too too small. You need a fair-sized brush. Clean water. Get the yellow walker. Flood it in round the bottom of the elephant. It'll bleed into it, and we'll force it to bleed into it. Fetch it down as far as sort of how far you want it to come down. It needs to come down as though the legs are in there. It's no use being too too short. It needs to look as though the legs are going in there. And fetch it out to the side of it, just about past, just past the ears, so you've got a, a balance rather than being too thin in there. Right, while it's wet, drop in some patches of yellows. Drop in some patches of burnt siennas. Like that. Get your spray and spray into it, making sure you can't hit the elephant too far up the head. They just spraying into the into the water like that. And spraying up the grasses, up the up the side like that. Doesn't matter if it goes into here because this is all gets wet and feels like it anyway. You can see how it's floating up there round it. Right? So now get a bigger brush. Get some bits of burnt sienna. I'll tell you what, I'll just flick a little bit more water up that side I think. Push it up that side a little bit. Get some burnt sienna, flick into it. Bits of yellow walker. Just creating texture. Now, to get the, the trunk and the legs separate, just paint a little gap in there. Like that, and a little gap in there. Dry the brush off and just tease it out a bit so it looks as though the legs are just separate at the back a bit. Just tease it out so you've got the legs separate. Flick in a little bit more paint. Bits of yellow if you want. Up the edges. Fetching the paint. If, you, if you're losing the if you're losing the, um, the edge of the elephant, because I flicked a bit violently there, just wet that down in there and just wet that down through. So if, you, if you've lost, just get a little bit of wet paint grey and just pull that back in. If, you, if, you've, if the water's gone a bit violent on it, just up there, just wet that back in. You can always add to it as you're coming along. You're just adding that colour into there like that. So it's just teased down. Dry your brush off, keep lifting out the in-between where the legs are. So you're just suggesting where the finish of the legs is. And then a thinner brush and just flick in little bits of stalk. So you're just flicking in, just putting little little dabs here and there with bits of yellow. Just keep your brush upright and just little flicks into the leg. See how it gets some nice patterns when you've It all adds to the texture of the elephant and it blurs it out so it feels as though it's coming through the grasses a little bit.
I'm just going to take that down a little bit farther. Just want that to come down a bit farther. Now, if it, if it's going up too far, just tilt the paper a fraction on the board. That's what you want a board on for. Just tilt it so that it pushes it downwards rather than. Uh, I'll just move that so it's pushing it down rather than allow it to float more so it, you can see the water's pushing down that way a bit now so it's not floating up that way if they do run out like bits like that let them dry and then just clean the edge up with a damp cloth so you can let them dry if, if you want to drop more black in when you when it's finished you can tidy it up by just getting bits of paint's grey and pulling it down round the edges and we'll tidy up tidy up the edges but that's a nice sort of finish off just there like that. So it looks as though it's just coming through the grasses. While it's still wet, while this is still wet, just a few flicks up will drag some light into it and some darks on the outside edges. So it's just, it's not soaking but it's still wet so you can do that so you can flick some grasses in by just going through the darks and out into the lights. So you break up the difference between the elephant and the grasses by just pushing the grasses in front of it and up. This is where, where the sprayed, the wet's gone in a bit, so I'll have to tidy up. If you're going to spray and you've got something that you've already said and you like that much, put a bit of card in front of it and spray around the areas, but I'll tidy that up, it, it won't take much tidying up. But just as it's drying, just, just with a, a dry brush, just lift some of the the darks out and flick them out. You can also get little bits of yellow orca as well and flick them in with a little stroke in there if you want some stronger grasses here and there. That's wet over that side so it's still still quite wet there but you can it's dry over this side so if you wanted you could as well get some wetter yellow orca and just flick in a few broken grasses just there. So you can just flick in a few, like from the edges there. A few into there as well. Tidy your edges up with a little bit of damp cloth. If you wipe too much you can just you can just paint the grays back in it's easy just to paint back in and out so you can just paint in the shape get the ear get the ear shape back again by just painting into there right let that dry and then we'll sharpen back up the tusk